Well, 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 my friends, God bless you. It's been a hot minute. It's been a while. Has it not been? Amen. Well, I'm happy to be here. Happy to talk with you today. I have some things I want to share from my heart and just release over you. But really, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute, like I said. Uh, we are nearing the end of May. And of course, we just celebrated Pentecost Sunday. And there is an overflow of Pentecost blessings still happening and still taking place. Amen. In fact, we're still in the build-up anticipation preparation for Shavuot, which is the Hebrew name of the Feast Festival Pentecost. So there's a greater harvest, a greater glory that God's building up and he's about to release. So today I want to talk about the God of the turnaround because God's about to turn things around in your life. And I want to encourage you because it's actually your turn. That's right. It's your turn for a turnaround. So let me know where you're watching from so I can give you some shout outs. Give some hearts and likes. Begin to share. Begin to like. Amen. Begin to tag somebody. Because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And I cannot wait to minister this word with you and over you in Jesus' name. Do you believe it? We're almost in the month of June. Uh, we're almost at the halfway mid-year mark. Surely time is going by so fast. I believe in that you are having a productive year so far. And you are uh, praising the Lord even more through it all. Through the highs, the lows, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the ugly. That so Jesus is king. He's enthroned upon the throne of our hearts. Amen. For God has a good word for you. And the Lord is speaking a better word. Amen. His blood speaks a better word. Somebody say amen. And remember, I had an encounter with the archangel Gabriel, the angel of good news, a few weeks ago. And I ministered that. That was probably my last Facebook Live. Once again, I apologize that it's been a hot minute. But I've been very busy and I've just been going deeper in prayer with the Lord. But uh, I want to talk to you today about the God of the turnaround, because I believe the Lord is beginning to turn things around in your life. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you're watching from. I want to give you some shout outs. I do see Fort Worth in the house, Nicole, God bless. I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas this weekend. So I hope to see you all. Leticia Rodriguez, Philippines, Salamat Po, Jersey, Dallas, Texas, Maurice Cole, Nicole Harper, Lucinda Serenity, Rosie Love, yes, Lucinda, oh, okay, hello from Fresno, God bless you, amen, thanks for the tag there, let's continue to build up the room, what's up Juan, we got Dallas, Fort Worth, we got Texas Strong in the house, I know it's been a hot minute, so maybe the algorithm on Facebook is just catching up right now, so let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Uh, and let's build up the room in the atmosphere before I begin to share the word that God has placed on my heart. Amen. Hello there, Betty. Dios te bendiga. Liz Berry from Washington. Alvaro, God bless. Hallelujah. Like I said, this weekend, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas. Then next weekend, I will be in Arizona. Then after that, I will be in Pennsylvania. After that, I'll be in Miami, and the beat drum rolls on. Amen. Hello, Salamat, Josie Lee Paler. What's up, Marcella? Miss you guys. Hi, Karen Tom. Nelson Mandidi, Durban, Wisconsin in the house. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, Dallas, amen. Yeah, hey, Roberts will be in Dallas. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see that. So I'm going to try to make time to surprise him and see him again. Amen. That's the life of Ben Lim, isn't it? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, friends, lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for your wonderful presence, for your precious grace. And I thank you today that you are releasing strength and grace to your people, that you're releasing a breaker anointing, Father, I thank you that you are the glory and the lifter of our head. And even now, for every single person that's tuning in 
logging in. I declare the favorable year of the Lord. I declare breakthrough. Whatever backlash, attack, lethargicness, tiredness, depression, oppression, you're experiencing whatever demonic attack you're experiencing. We destroy it now by the blood of Jesus. And they for fresh fire, miracle signs and wonders. In Jesus' mighty name, all of God's people say amen. Hi there, Lily Wynn, San Diego. Look at that, Texas in the house again. I will be in Dallas this weekend, so I hope to see you. Hello, Prophetess Ivana. Please share this in the Open Heavens World Group if you haven't yet already. Thank you. What's up from Michigan? Hey, George in the house. Amy, yeah, I've missed y'all. I hope you've missed me. I've been really busy just uh, trying to take it a day at a time as much as possible. Arizona, wonderful. I'll be in Arizona next weekend. Praise God. Bam, bam. Come on, let's give the Lord Almighty God. Give us some hearts and likes. Amen. Well, real quick, um, I just came back from Chicago, Illinois, and we had such a powerful time. Wow. I was with my good friend, Apostle John Veal. And uh, we had a wonderful time, Miracle Signs and Wonders. And there was a young lady, her name's Renee. And as I was ministering from the pulpit, hello there from Anchorage, Alaska. As I was ministering from the pulpit, I saw this young lady, maybe second, third row, and she had a walker. And she looked very tired, and I knew God was going to touch her and heal her. And that Sunday, on Pentecost Sunday, I ministered on a word called the mystery of the anomaly. I want you to comment that. The mystery of the anomaly. In fact, I believe that's going to be one of my new books I'm going to be working on. The anomaly anointing. All right, the anomaly anointing. But I talked about the mystery of the anomaly and how Dr. John Veal is an anomaly. I'm an anomaly. And everybody in this season, we must embrace our uniqueness, our our individual grace that God's given us and that anomaly anointing because you're anointed when you understand that you are different, you are an anomaly. And as I was ministering this word, I saw this young lady with the walker and the Lord said, she's going to get healed. So boldly in the middle of service, as I went up to the woman of God, I said, as a sign, I want you to say sign, as a sign, the Lord's going to heal you because the Lord's pouring out unusual miracle signs and wonders. Don't say unusual. And the last few days, we've been seeing supernatural weight loss. Praise God. Uh, there was another young lady. In fact, there may be four or five people this Sunday in Chicago. They received supernatural weight loss. Incredible. God is good. But this lady, Renee, she has not been able to walk properly since October. She couldn't stand more than a few minutes. Ha! Huh? She had some kind of disease in her, I think it was muscles, not bones, muscles. And then I grabbed a hold of her hand. The virtue of God, the power of God came upon her through her. Bam! Hey! And then uh, she began to walk and run. And she didn't need to walk her anymore. God touched her. God healed her. Somebody say amen. I want you to say Jesus is my healer. So God is doing a new thing. The Lord's moving. And I believe today, God is going to turn things around in your life. If you believe that, say amen. Hallelujah. Now listen, I want to be very open with you, very transparent. I've been pretty tired, okay? And uh, y'all pray for me, please. None of that witchcraft. We're jealous stuff, but I've been pretty tired. And even the last few days, I've been having headaches and migraines. Of course, I'm traveling every week, I'm traveling like a madman, and I love traveling. It's a great honor to be able to be invited and received in different churches, ministries, regions, and to minister the gospel. But, uh, you know, I've been tired. And of course, we have fun. You know me, I have fun. I, I exercise. I try to make the best out of everything, right? Because whatever we do, we do unto the Lord. But I've been tired, y'all. And even the last few days, I've had a headache. I've had a migraine. Just overexhausted. And I think something's in the air right now. So we bind it, we break it, we loose it in Jesus' name. But uh, 
as we just finished Pentecost Sunday, and I'm sure many of you can relate with this, so you need to hear me as I'm just sharing my thoughts on my heart. Because whatever God does on the earth, he does it first through the intercessors, prophets, through his leaders, through the remnant. And you watching, you are that remnant. Can I get an amen? So whenever there's warfare, the warfare hits first over the leaders, over the head. Whenever there's blessing, it also flows first from the head. <clears throat> so the last couple weeks, I've been feeling very tired. And even though I went to vacation for a week, I did not get the deep rest that I needed. Say a lot. Uh, but as I just came back from Chicago, and uh, I just came back Monday, yesterday, and we did the webinar yesterday, and here I am. I sense in my heart so strong, amen, that God's about to turn things around in your life. There's going to be major turnaround. I want to say turnaround. There's going to be major turnaround. And I know yesterday as I flew in, Sunday night, I only had three hours of sleep. Early morning, took a flight. Came over here back to L.A. I tried to take a nap after my brunch in L.A. Cut a nap. Eventually, I took a nap. And I woke up feeling uneasy. And I needed to get ready for the webinar. But then I began to pray. I began to go deeper in the Lord. I began to worship God. And as I went deeper, boom, all of a sudden it broke and it shifted. Somebody say amen. Now I know a lot of us, we've been pressing, we've been pushing for that Pentecost breakthrough, for the Pentecost harvest. And the overflow of Pentecost is still flowing. Is still manifesting. Is still happening. We're still in the overflow realm of the Pentecost blessings. Amen. But many of us, we are in a great transition. You know, spiritually, something shifted. Supernaturally, something shifted. You know, you're not the same anymore, but God's about to turn things around in your life. If you believe that same man. Your finances, your health. Your perspective. Really what God's doing is he's upgrading you and he's promoting you. Amen. Why? Because remember, there was 120 in the upper room when the Pentecost baptism of fire fell. Hey, And as the fire of God fell, it was the birth of the church. Some of you, you're in the middle of birthing. Right now, you know it. You're birthing something new, something big, something fresh. You can't give up. You can't give in. God is sending destiny helpers. He's sending midwives, people to hold your hands, to help you birth, to help you push. He's sending you the right people. And some of you watching right now, you're saying, Dr. Ben, I feel tired. I feel weary. But you know, the Bible says he, she, who refreshes others will also be refreshed. Somebody say amen. Somebody say, I receive it. There is a refreshing anointing coming over you from all the warfare, all the nonsense, all the pushing, all the busyness. There is a refreshing anointing that's coming upon you if you receive that same amen. Now, if you concur, relate with what I'm talking about, I want to say that to me. Because I know many of us, We've been waiting, praying, pressing in. And there's a bit of a lull in the spirit. A bit of a tiredness in the soul, in the body. You know that there's a great transition. You know that God's doing something new and you've been praying, fasting, believing, pushing, pressing. But you feel there's an apathetic, familiar lull, dullness. And you can't quite put your finger on it. If that's you, say that to me. We'll get ready for a baptism, my friends. A Pentecostal fire. He's shifting things. Turning things around. You're going to become a new person, a new creation. Everything about you is shifting. Amen. It's turning around. From the inside out. How you pray. How you think. Even for me in our ministry, I know something's about to shift 
and take off in our ministry. But there's a stretch. I want to say stretch. There's a big stretch. There's a good stretch. Uh -huh. How many of you are stretching right now? You're wearing your stretchy pants. Amen. Because you're making room. Come on. Somebody say make room. There's a Rehoboth anointing. The third well tapped open, broke open. And I usually call the third well Rehoboth. God has made room for me. Come on. It's time for the prayer of Jabez. God, expand me and my territory. The Lord's about to stretch, expand. There's going to be a boom, an upper room boom, a Pentecost boom, a bang, bang in your face in the name of Jesus. So there's a stretching. There's a preparation of getting ready. Amen. But who you knows, even as you exercise or even as you are being prepared for the military. You're going through boot camp. You're going to training camp. You begin to break levels. You begin to have stretch marks on your body, on your muscles, because you're growing. You're breaking through things, levels, and realms that you never thought was possible. Can I get an amen? Someone say, I'm moving. Somebody say, I'm stretching. You're expanding from glory to glory. And I want to declare over you that there is a monumental increase that's coming over your life. An increase of what spiritual realities, of spiritual authority. There's a greater upgrade of your authority in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you receive that, say, I receive it. So he's turning things around. And the Lord said, it's your turn. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. How many of us we feel like, what about me, God? I see them being blessed. I see them progressing. It's not fair. Wow, 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 blah, blah, blah. But God says, it's your turn. Ah, come on. It's your turn. It's my turn. Somebody say, it's my turn. It's your turn for turnaround. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. How much more do I need to wait? It always seems like I'm being overlooked. I'm being passed by. I'm being ignored. Am I left for dead? Am I home alone? Is this, you know, when is it going to shift and change? But God says, it's your turn. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. And give us some hearts and lights. Come on, I feel faith rising in the atmosphere right now. I feel angels being released right now. The atmosphere is increasing and shifting over your life. If you've been struggling with the oppressive, heavy spirit, I want you to say that to me. Lift up your hands. Father, I thank you right now. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet, every spirit of oppression, lie, heaviness, manipulation, depression, spirit of failure, lying spirit, every spirit that's trying to tap them out, drain, I heard the Lord say a draining spirit. You feel drained. You feel tired. You feel exhausted. You feel wasted. You don't feel happy. You don't feel fulfilled. You don't feel content in the Lord. Something shifted in your spirit. It means that we must move with the cloud of glory. We must move with the pillar of fire. We must continue to move. But you're like, oh God, I just got here. Can I just chill a while? But the Lord says, keep it moving. There's going to be a move in your life from the inside out, a fresh anointing, a renewal, a revival in the name of Jesus. If you receive that, say amen. It's your turn. The Lord will not skip you. He will not pass by you. He's not going to ignore or overlook you. It's your turn. It's your turn from breakthrough. It's your turn from miracles. <clears throat> It's your turn. Come on. Your time is up. It's your turn. And I had a vision. And we're going to go to the word of God in a few minutes. But I had a vision. You know when you go to the DMV or, or you, you go to a drive through and you have your ticket, your number, and you're waiting in line until it's your turn. Bam. It's your turn. Somebody say amen. Receive it, say amen. It's your turn for what? Miracles, breakthrough, for turnaround. It's your turn for signs and wonders. 
It's your turn for healing. It's your turn for God to show up and show off. It's your turn for turn around. Somebody say amen. You've been waiting in line. You've been waiting. When am I going to be chosen? When am I going to get picked up? When am I going to get blessed? When am I going to see? It's your season, your time, and your turn for turn around. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Now, I have two verses. First and foremost, let's go here. Psalm 30, 11 to 12. This is a very familiar passage for many of you. If you're with me today, say amen. If you're happy to be in this broadcast with Dr. Ben Lim, say amen. It's been a while. I know I've missed you all. But uh, like I said, I have. Amen. I'm the comeback king. I received that. Someone say comeback. Bang, bang. But, uh, you know, I've been resting and praying and I've been very busy. But I've missed you all. And I apologize if you feel neglected or if it's been a while. But I'm here. Amen. Yeah, somebody say comeback. I received that. I like that. Somebody wrote, I'm the comeback king. Get ready for a comeback. Every setback and whatever's backed up will come back in recompense. I see this in the spirit. There's been a backing up, a delay. Like, you know, when orders are backed up, <laughs> when the toilet is backed up, how about that? When things are backed up, it's clogged up. It's a mess. But God's about to release, swoosh. He's about to release whatever's been backed up. Somebody say amen. That's right, recompense. Psalm 30, 11 to 12. Let's read that here. Psalm 30, 11 to 12. My, my, my. You turn my morning into dancing. You peeled off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Say joy. That my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. Oh, Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Someone say forever. Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. There is a turnaround anointing here in this place. The, the, the psalmist here says, you turn my mourning into dancing. My sackcloth and clothe me with joy. Amen. Now that word turns in the Hebrew. Amen. That word turn in the Hebrew is hafak. I want you to say ha fak. Okay. That's, that's how you pronounce it. All right. Or hapak, how about that? Hapak. And that word hapak, hapak, <laughs> what that word means is to turn or overturn. It means to change, to overthrow. It also means to restore. My gosh, I feel the Lord. The Lord is about to overthrow, overturn. He's about to change. And he's about to restore. Amen. There's an overturning anointing. A changing, transforming anointing. He's turning hafak, your mourning into dancing. Your sackcloth into joy. Amen. Do you know what that means? A new mantle. I need you to hear me. It means a new identity. It means a new name. It means a new definition. And this overthrow or overturning is violent. I want you to think about that like a coup, like how the Biden regime tried to overthrow Trump. And they nearly have from the White House as of now, but not, not on November 1st, 5th. Excuse me. Can I get an amen? But. They literally overthrew like a coup. So it's a violent spirit, an aggressive spirit. And God is saying, I'm overthrowing that sackcloth mantle. Stop singing the didgeridoo. Stop mourning and moaning and groaning in a pity party spirit of complaining. 
in that sackcloth of heaviness. Come on, your winter has passed, your spring has come. Now it's time for you to violently throw it off, take it off, throw it down, because it's turning around, you're changing, hallelujah, into clothing robes of joy. Ah, somebody say amen. Come on, somebody say, even now, I feel the joy of the Lord rising. Some of you are getting hit and drunk in the Holy Ghost. Remember, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. So do you know why some of us, we felt tired? I've been feeling tired mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. But it's because we need to get back deeper in the presence of God. Because in His presence, there's fullness of joy. Amen. For you. Who's getting drunk right now in the Holy Ghost? Bang, bang. I feel it bubbling up. I feel in the spirit. Many of you are getting filled right now from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. The joy of the Lord. Amen. Bang, bang. Bam. Whoa. Hey. I got the joy. Joy, joy down in my heart. So your mourning is turning into dancing. It's changing. Becoming. Do you know why? Hear me. Just like that word, hafak, which means turn, change, become, overthrow. Let me ask you this. If something is being overthrown, does that mean it's stronger or weaker? So if I overthrow you, in example, does that mean I am stronger or weaker than you? It's stronger. Hear me now. If Mourning is being overthrown by dancing. Ah, what does that mean? That means dancing is more powerful than that mourning. Somebody say amen. I break it off. That means the praise and the clothing of joy is stronger than sackcloth. Did y'all catch that today? Come on. Someone say, when I'm weak, he makes me strong. I want to declare grace, grace over you. Fresh grace over your life. Come on, someone say grace. There is a grace, an empowering, enabling, anointing coming over and upon you. Amen. The glory of God is greater and stronger. So God's about to overthrow, tear down, rip apart the old. Now I want to go into our next verse here. This is incredible. Are you with me today? Amen. Jabarabaya. Zephaniah 3 9. I feel the Holy Ghost. Zephaniah 3 9. And I put two different translations here for us to read and to compare. Berean Standard Bible. For then I will restore pure lips. To the peoples that all may call upon the name of the Lord and serve him shoulder to shoulder. That stands for a position, shoulder to shoulder. Your praise positions you. Let's say that again. I will restore pure lips to the peoples that all may call upon the name of the Lord and serve him shoulder to shoulder. So your pure lips causes you to praise which positions you. God is changing your position. The Lord is shifting, changing your position. Your praise is changing your position. The pure lips, the purity of your heart, the sanctification of your mouth is changing your position. If the world was created by the word, then it's by the power of the decree. Where things are shifting in your life. Somebody say amen. Are you catching this today? Purity equals praise, which equals your position. God is repositioning you by the purity of your praise. Somebody say amen. Somebody say it's my turn to praise the Lord. Ha! Huh. Say it's my turn to praise Jesus. It's my turn to thank God. I don't know about you, but me, I'm going to praise the Lord. It's my turn to praise his name. Jesus, 
You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. So I'm going to shout it to my turn. Now the King James Version of Zechariah 3.9. Remember in Berean it says I will restore. Here the Bible says. Amen. Then I will turn to the people. A pure language. Don't you love that? The language of God. I will turn to the people. A pure language. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord and serve him with one consent, with one heart, shoulder to shoulder, in unison. Here the Bible says, I will turn to the people a pure language. Which means he's turning things around. Which means he's turning towards you. The light of his face is turning towards you, is shining upon you, is coming upon you. It's your turn for his favor to bask upon you. His goodness, his glory, amen, to come upon your life. Somebody shout, it's my turn. Listen, I want to begin to bring this to a close, and then I want to minister over you and pray over you in the name of Jesus. Because today, the Lord said, it's your turn for turnaround. And just like the vision that I had, you're, you have a number, you're waiting at for the kiosk, you're waiting in line. Imagine California DMV, which is like the pit of hell. And you're waiting in line. When is it my time? When is it my time? When is it my turn, oh God? I've been waiting for hours. You're losing patience. You're getting frustrated. You're hungry. You're hangry. Uh -huh. You're losing hope. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Hit a Bahaya. But suddenly, boom, your number's called. Boom. It's your turn. It's your time. And the Lord says, I'm turning things around. You've been waiting. You felt delayed. You felt heavy. You felt despised. You felt ignored. You felt hope deferred. You feel alone. You feel tired. You're tired of being tired. You're tired of but in the waiting. The joy of the Lord manifests and he encounters you and he re refreshes you and gives you fresh hope, fresh faith, fresh fire. Somebody say amen. The Lord's doing a new thing. He's turning things around in your life. Here, King James, Zephaniah 3.9 says, I will turn to the people of pure language. He's turning to you. A miracle, a grace, a sign, and a wonder. He's turning to you in the name of Jesus. It's your turn for restoration, for recompense, for promotion, for breakthrough, for blessing. If you believe that today, say amen. Now listen, I want you to lift up your hands. I feel the Lord. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you have a prayer language, begin to pray. In the Holy Spirit, praise God. Come on, I want you to increase the atmosphere. Come together in unity and join yourself to the Lord even more so. Masa carabroso coronande. That's right, a comeback. Come back after come. I hear God saying, I'm setting you up for a series of comebacks. I'm setting you up. For a series of comebacks, a series of home runs, a series of grand slams. It's a setup. And he's setting things up for your favor, for your turnaround. He's a God of the turnaround. He's turning things around. Amen. In your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. If you receive and believe that, say amen. Listen here today. If you're watching me live, you're saying, Dr. Ben, I've been tired. I've been weary. I feel like giving up. I feel like I'm robotically, mechanically, 
just going through the routines with no emotion. My heart is not in it. I'm doing what I need to do, but I don't feel my heart coming alive. If that's you, I want you to say that to me. And I want to release fresh fire in your life. Fresh fire. Every lukewarm, cold area will become red hot on fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. If that's you, comment that to me. And I want you to lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for every attack in the mind. Every heaviness, every lie, Jesus, every delay, every sabotage, he's turning things around, he's turning things around, he's turning things around, he's turning things around, Jesus, he's turning things around in your life, financially, emotionally, mentally, amen, I said amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A new mantle, a new identity. Who? Oh, you will no longer identify with the last and the past season. You will no longer identify with the last season. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, there's a prophetic thrust, a second wind that's coming over you. And the Lord's about to release a second wind of grace, a second wind of glory. Somebody say amen. My gosh, I feel such a surrendering anointing right now. Lay it all down, my friends. Lay it all down. We can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, Lord. Jesus. That's right. I want to just keep praying. We're waiting on the Lord right now. Because as I'm flowing in the flow instruction of God, there's a greater revelation that he's about to release. Jabababaha. Resitia Bahaya Basata Rabalata Tarabrata. Yes. Oh, you're the name above all names. Hey. Come on, just begin to sing to the Lord a new song. A new anointing. A new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Shana Mama. Shana Mama Hae. Rama Mama Hae Batara Blata. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, your praise will ever be on my lips. Ever be on my lips. Your praise will. Ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips, your praise will. Ah, every chaos and confusion is breaking off now in Jesus' name. Listen here. Habakkuk 2.3. Thank you, Jesus. For the vision awaits its appointed time it hastens to the end it will not lie 
If it seems slow, wait for it, for it will come, it will not delay. Other versions say, though it tarries, it will not delay. Though it tarries, it will not delay. Do you know what speeds up the turnaround? Your praise. Come on, I feel the Lord, my gosh. What quickens that turnaround anointing is your praise, is your words, your declaration. So I want to declare, even as we read in Zephaniah 3, 9, I will restore pure lips to the people, for then I will turn to the people a pure language. There's something about our lips, our mouths. There's something about you speaking the word of the Lord. Amen. A new song, a new praise. Come on, just put your hand on your mouth and close your eyes. Father, I thank you for a new anointing to come upon their mouths, their lips. That turnaround is in their mouth. Turnaround is in their spirit. Turnaround is upon their tongue. Come on, I want to say my tongue has turnaround. It's the tongue of the turnaround. Your tongue has the power of life and death. Your tongue has the power of turning around things in your life. Somebody say amen. Listen, I see angels being released right now. Jesus. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. I've got to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I've got to be where you are. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. Mm. Touch, Ta! touch your people, Lord, from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Jesus, mighty name. Come on, somebody give the Lord a mighty clap. Come on, give the Lord a mighty show. Hey, Shabarabahaye. It's your turn for a major turnaround. You felt like you've been forgotten. You've been ignored. Jesus. You feel like you're all alone. But woman of God, man of God, it's your turn. And he saved the best for last. It's your turn, child of God. Oh, woman of God. It's your turn for major turnaround. But it turns around by the power of your lips, the power of your praise. Somebody say amen. Jesus. My gosh. Listen, I'm so in the glory right now. I don't know about you. I hope you're feeling and experiencing. I hope you're in the same realm of glory that I'm in right now because I am in another realm right now as i'm talking to you and as i'm singing to the lord it's a cloaking it's a clothing jesus Aha, and you cannot rush it you cannot rush him jesus Jesus. Jesus. Feels like a cocoon. Amen. Jesus. 
Jesus. He's turning it around in your life. Come on, who am I talking to? Nicole K. Maness, he's turning it around. Providence Ivana. Denise Godinich. Mindy Allen. Stephanie Bushy. Love Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Kayla, good to see you. He's turning things around. Vic Strike. Rosalind Galgo. Christina Wilson. Shalom Uwe. Yeah, yeah. Now it's coming in fast. Hey! Cheryl Troop, Amy, Ashley De La Garza, Eric Simon, Jerry Mario, Leanne Garcia, Heidi, Susan Orby, Yera Braca, Yilan Chang, Richard Stutzman, good to see you. Halana Carey. Come on, Amber, good to see you. Susan. Walker Wynn, Mabel Lopez, Rebecca Tipton, yeah, yeah. See. Cree, Cree, Pastor Sharon, Audrey. There it is. Come on, Jackie Bird, Maurice Cole. My God, I feel the fire of God. Yolanda, Sandra, Sunny Rose Elizabeth, Terry Ann, Mandy Klein, Marvin Handyman, Lesego Sequane. Jesus, he's turning things around. Lajan Bendel Fernandez, he's turning things around. He's turning things around. And you know, it's incredible. Here's a little insert. As simple as this word is, and as simple as these songs are, that's how powerful it is. Because simplicity, childlikeness, innocence is power. Juan Martinez, Naomi. Basteri Alvarez, Rochelle Deanne, yes, Rian Sumajo, Irene Carido, Manoa Racuna, Rekuna. He's turning things around. He's turning things around. Yes, Dana Elizabeth. Jesus. My, my, my. Yes. NATO, Trasap, yes, Rion Sumajo. Listen, Father, I thank you. Fresh fire, fresh anointing, touch, touch. Come upon them with a new mantle, a new anointing. I want to declare over you, Brandon Cook, Lozanda. I see a mantle of turnaround. My gosh, hear me now. There's a mantle called turnaround, which means wherever you go, things get turned up. Things get turned. Wherever you go, things begin to shift and turn like a wheel, like a Ferris wheel, like a wheel within the wheel, according to Ezekiel. Wherever you go, you have the mantle of turnaround which means you begin to shift things into motion for breakthrough. And I want you to begin to move your hand like this, like a wheel. Hallelujah. Because he's turning things around in your life. If you believe that, say amen. He's turning things around huh, in your life. Somebody say mantle of turned around. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love seeing the response. Rabba Soto Rabba. Yeah, you got a mantle of turnaround. You you have the mantle called turnaround. Somebody say amen. My gosh, what a word today. I always love journey in the spirit of the prophetic because revelation just keeps growing and increasing in his presence. My gosh, mantle of turnaround. Amen. Now listen, if you're blessed today, say amen. Friends, I want you to bless the Lord and sow a seed of faith. I understand you're struggling. 
But how do you break that lack or struggle? By giving, by stepping into faith. And I want you to sow a seed of faith. I've pinned in the chat group the different ways to sow. But I want you to sow a seed. And I want you to bless the Lord. And as you sow a seed by commenting on, by clicking on the link, excuse me, that is pinned in the chat group, I want you to comment mega turnaround. Comment mega turnaround so I can acknowledge where the release is, where the response is, where the faith is actually in this room. Does anybody have faith? Does, did anybody receive? And you say, Dr. Ben, I put my faith into this realm, into this world. Amen. Because your seed that's released will turn back around into a harvest in your life. So as you sow a seed in this word, in this stirring of waters anointing, because the waters are stirred. As you sow a seed by clicking on the link, I want you to comment mega turnaround. As you bless the Lord in this moment, honor him, honor his prophet, honor his prophetic voice. Sonny Rose Elizabeth, Rion Sumojo, yes, Sandra Carries, Carizales, Donna P Piper, God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm going to give about a minute for you to respond right now, but don't delay. Bless the Lord, even if you're going to make a pledge and give after this broadcast because you don't want to miss it. Amen. I understand that. Susan, bless you. Vicky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jabarabasata. Amy Woolsey Bearden. That's right. You are sowing into this anointing because the waters are being stirred. And remember, when the angel went down into the waters of Bethesda, and the waters of healing were stirred. Well, whoever stepped in was healed. Let me tell you, there's a stirring or a turning of the waters. Like you churn butter, you churn, there's a churning and a turning. Pastor Sharon, huh. yeah, yeah, Maurice Cole, Van Dalton Ward, Nicole K. Maness, bless you, Amy Katosan. Jesus. Prophet Luis, I miss you guys. We definitely need a fellowship next week. Juan Mysterio Molina. Ashley De La Garza. Yilan Chang. Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on, continue to sow by faith. Kayla Graffiano. Graffa Giannino, Excuse me. Woman of God. Rob, listen, woman of God, Kayla, I want to prophesy over you. Marvin Handyman, bless you. I want to. Liz Berry, Kayla, there is an anointing of turnaround. And I just saw there's going to be a, a breakthrough and a turnaround concerning location. Like, I feel like you're about to shift location, a physical location, Kayla. There's going to be a shifting into a new physical location for you. In Jesus' name. Jachem Shen Great. Susan Foot Toby. Lesego Sequane. Yeah, yeah. Jackie Burr. Demetrius. Amen. Liz Berry. Yeah, amen. Linda. Bakzuk, you see how all these people are responding. You know this was the word of the Lord. And trust me, I've been wanting to come on a live broadcast and prophetically minister to you for days, but I've just been so tired and busy because I'm in the same boat with you. But the Lord's releasing mega turnaround. V goods. You got the goods. Yes. Brenda Burnaby. Praise the Lord. 
All right, I'm going to give another 30 seconds. I want you to comment mega turnaround as you sow into this atmosphere, as the waters are stirring. Irene Carrido, Jackie Bird, one more time, bless you. No, don't be sorry, Lisa. God bless. Providence Alana. Yeah, Prophet Alana, there's a turnaround coming over you. Like things are going to start accelerating. I hear God saying your effectiveness, your sharpness, who here feels dull? Like, you know, you're trying to cut a steak with a dull knife. You feel dull. But God's going to sharpen you this week in the glory of God. Providence Ivana. Zara Santos, good to see you. Bless your family. Josie Lee Paler. He's turning things around. I'm Red Booth, Juan Martinez, Tracy Ruiz. God bless you, many. The Lord knows. He's turning things around. Turning things around. Susan, Scott Galloway, the Lord's going to turn things around for your family. There's a turnaround in your family. And there's going to be a turning back. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw somebody's back against you, but that back's going to be turned and the face will face towards you in Jesus' name. Love Israel. Bless you. Yeah, exactly. He's turning things around. Joanne Sammy Vlakis. Pamela Segish. Zareen Chia, good to see you. He's turning things around. Yes, amen. Bless you all for sowing and responding. Listen, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas this week, and it's going to be very, very powerful. I hope to see you in Dallas. If you're in the Texas State region, please come see me. These meetings in Dallas are lit up with the Holy Ghost. It's going to be one of a kind. I hope to see you this weekend in Dallas, Texas. Then also next weekend, I'll be in Arizona. Then after that, I'll be in Pennsylvania. Then after that, I will be in Miami. Amen. People of God is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Thanks for watching today. He's turning things around in your life. If you believe that, say amen. Well, I love you. God bless you. Shalom. I hope to see you very soon. Like I said, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas this weekend. It's going to be an undeniable impartation, atmosphere, presence, glory of God. Undeniable. Amen. Brenda Burnaby, Maurice, Cole. Can't wait to see you all meet you in Jesus' name. Amy, please, would love to see you. Amen. Well, God bless you, friends. Make sure you like, share, follow, subscribe, share, share, share. And I can't wait to see you soon. It's your turn for mega turnaround. You have the mantle of turnaround. God bless you.